Tenaratata Katoa. Today is Thursday the 14th of April 2022 and as always we will begin the day with oral questions. Question number one is from Jamie Strange and this question is to the Minister of Research, Science and Innovation and he has, uh, asked, is asking a question about innovation in the aerospace uh, sector. Uh, Mark Cameron will ask question number two and his question is to the Minister for Climate uh, Change uh, regarding the size of the national herd. Uh, question number three from Nicola Willis to the Minister of Finance and she's asking about uh, treasury, treasury uh, forecasts um, around inflation. Uh, question number four from Arena Williams is to the Minister of Health and she is asking about the establishment of new health entities uh, that the government is planning under its reforms. Um, question number five from Chris Bishop is asking about how many Kiwi build houses uh, have been built in January 2022 and that question is to the Minister of Housing. Uh, Rachel Boyack will ask question number six to the Minister for the Environment and her question is around uh, jobs for nature supporting communities. Uh, question number seven from Dr Shane Hriti to the Minister of Health and he is asking does uh, the Minister stand by all his statements and actions? Uh, question number eight from Ingrid Leary is to the Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, and her question is asking about the uh, Operation Whakahokinga Mai which is uh, around the number of people uh, supported to um, travel from uh, Afghanistan to New Zealand. Uh, question number nine from Erica Stanford to the Minister of Immigration uh, and her question is regarding immigrant uh, nurses and doctors and the uh, normal residency uh, settings. Question number 10 from Jan Logie to the Minister for Workplace Relations and Safety is asking a question about the parental leave entitlements. Uh, Karen Chaw uh, will ask question number 11 and her question is to the Minister for the Prevention of Family and Sexual Violence uh, and her question is asking about um, um, briefings regarding sexual violence and uh, family violence within emergency and transitional housing. Uh, and the final question, uh, number 12 from Venushi Walters uh, to the Minister of Justice and is asking about uh, government supporting um, courts to operate during um, COVID-19. Um, after the conclusion of um, uh, oral questions, uh, the first um, three uh, orders on the um, on the order paper are motions. The first one is a govern, government notice of motion in the name of the Honourable Chris Hipkins uh, re, to reappoint the Right Honourable Simon Upton as the Parliamentary Commissioner for the Environment. Um, the uh, government uh, notice of motion number three, also in the name of uh, Honourable Chris Hipkins, is a motion that to alter the 2021-22 financial appropriation um, and the estimates for the 2022-23 financial year. Um, I believe um, they are regarding the Officers of Parliament. Um, Government notice of motion number four will be next, also in the name of the Honourable Chris Hipkins, um, and this is regarding further COVID-19 orders um, made under the COVID-19 Public Health uh, Response Act. Um, uh, following that, we will um, have the third reading of the COVID-19 Response Court Safety Legislation Bill. Um, this is a bill uh, that uh, supports safe and effective operation of courts and tribunals. 
Um, after that, we will have time to um, have the uh, third reading of the protected disclosures, protection of whistleblowers um, bill in the name of the Honourable Chris Hipkins. Uh, and this bill will replace um, and address problems identified in the Protected um, Disclosures Act uh, 2000. Um, and at 4.45pm, uh, um, procedures will be interrupted uh, for the valedictory statement from uh, retiring Member of Parliament, Louisa War. Uh, and after that, the House will adjourn for a two-week uh, recess uh, and the House will return on Tuesday, the 3rd of May at 2pm. Nga mihi nui ki